All right, guys, Big Dave here, and uh, we're bringing you a release video today. We're going to be unboxing the True Fire Smoke. It's the buckle back style. We just picked it up for the old boy here. Now, uh, not old. Anyway, so uh, we're going to be doing a review on that and uh, our history with the True Fire releases. So uh, that's what you guys can expect from this video. So stick around and we'll get to it. So this was a true fire when they first came out a long time ago. I don't even remember the name of this true fire. It was the first one. Now, when you you would lick, click on that one, you would lock it closed on the uh, D loop. And that's how that one worked. This is a, uh, we try to knock off mossy, mossy oak one and uh, trash, junk. But this is the true fire hurricane. Um, I feel like this is the first one that True Fire actually came out with that actually worked really well. Still got the traditional um, quick release here. It has the quick adjustment. You could adjust it and all that stuff. Now, just to what they just came out with was the smoke. Now, this is the smoke. It's got a set screw on the side. Just so This has got the uh, loose back like that. It's not the snapback style. So let's get to what we came to see right here. It's the True Fire number one release in the world. Smoke, buckle back, full back style. So let's get it unboxed here. All right, let's get it open here. All right, it says quick and easy trigger travel, uh, diameter size, auto closing, wear resistant uh, coated jaws, 5 8 inch with locking set down screw. So, as you can tell, there's not much difference in the original smoke and the smoke buckle back. To adjust it, all you do is spin it to whatever length you want. There's an Allen set screw right here, and then, then you set it right there. I'm not 100% fond of that, because um, when I wear thicker gloves and stuff like that, sometimes it adjusts where it is on my wrist, and I don't like to have to undo a set screw. That's what I kind of liked about this Hurricane. The Hurricane one, you just twisted it, and it stayed there. Um, again, just put your thumb in, thumb towards the release. Pull it up, cinch it tight. Voila, it's on there. Uh, the buckle back is just kind of a D ring. It's just off tension. It's kind of hard to get used to using it to get it to work. Um, what I recommend is you take this, your thumb, put it right where it connects, and fold it back like that. If you just try it like this, all it does is twist the collar around your wrist. So put your thumb. D loop, push in and pull down at the same time. It's the only way I could get it to get to work. Other than that, still got the tried and true release, and we'll take it out and do a few shots with it. See how we like it. Mm -hmm.
All right, there you guys have it. Smooth as butter. It's just like a true fire. Smooth like it's always been. Quality, I'm positive it's gonna last just like my other ones have. It's not gonna wear out. And uh, says a lot when you trust your son to shoot one. So I trust my son to shoot them. They're smooth, we've shot other things. They get jerky and sketchy on him. And uh, that's the last thing you want when that big buck comes out is to be jerky with your release. So if you don't shoot a true fire, shame on you. And uh, check out their uh, buckle back if that's something you guys would like. Hit that thumbs up. Check out you next time.